Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. I'm so excited to welcome to the show Jared Guest. He is a famed e-commerce entrepreneur and the founder of the second fastest growing shop on Shopify. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on here. How are you, Jared? You've been named one of the top entrepreneurs under 30 years old by Forbes magazine, Entrepreneur Magazine. Wow, that's pretty good. What? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Thank you. How does that happen? It happens with a lot of, uh, you know, trying a lot of different things. You know, people see the success. They see the articles about, like, what's been good. But there's a lot of bad behind it. And it took, you know, eight years of trying different businesses to have my first win. Um, and then I, I like to talk about, like, momentum. After you have one win, you have to keep, kind of keep rolling with it. Well, you made, you made your first tw uh, million at 21. So you've been in the business since you were like 11 or well, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I, I started, uh, I threw concerts while I was in college. Mm. And I was booking big artists. And we were trying to figure out how to take the concerts to the next level. We realized we were paying all these, these artists all this money. So we created our own show. It was like a circus, um, world's largest foam party with like circus acts. Oh, and it, it went it kind of viral back then. And we did shows at like 25 different campuses. Um, but at 22, I lost all my money and uh, got sued and kind of hit rock bottom. But wow. it was a good experience. So <laughs> how, did you pivot, how did you pivot out of that? You failed fast, you rose again. What was the catalyst for that change? It was, it was really actually, it was pretty tough because like growing up, I didn't come from a family of entrepreneurs or people who were successful. So like I kind of got to the point where I believed it was possible when I was 21, I was doing so well. But then when I crashed and burned at 22, I like, lost those beliefs and I lost that confidence. And I was at a low point. I got sued for a lot of money, and I couldn't even afford a lawyer. So I was at a really low point. Um, and I got a really good opportunity to work with a startup company that raised a bunch of money, and um, I got equity in the company. And it, it, I, you know, I jumped in all on board, and I ended up making an exit when I was 24, which kind of propelled me back into the entrepreneurial space. Mm -hmm. Wow! One of the most common denominators from the successful entrepreneurs we have interviewed is meditation. Every single one of them meditates in the morning. How has that been a vital part of your success? I think meditation gives me personally like a consistency. Like some mornings I'll wake up, my mind will be racing and I'll feel anxious and I'll feel like, you know, I'm behind on the day. Some mornings I'll feel, you know, wake up feeling great. But if I meditate, I always kind of afterwards, I always feel centered. Like I feel calmer, my heartbeat is a little slower. And I, you know, I had thought of and envisioned all the things I want to do for the day. And it's like, it's really important to have that good energy, like going into mm -hmm. your day. So is there like an entrepreneur mantra? Because I'm, I'm an entrepreneur night school and I, I'm learning the business of, of startups and the race. So what do I need to do to set my intention for success? You know, I, I like to say, like, I focus way more on the person you need to be rather than the things you need to do. And then mm -hmm. you'll naturally do the things you need to do to get there. But so many people focus on like, I need to do this, I need to do that and they lose track of who they need to be. Right. And then they go into these situations and they're not the best version of themselves. Right. So speaking wow. of the topic of the day, picking your inner circle, so important as an entrepreneur. What, how do you do that and what would you recommend for people? Yeah, that's extremely important to me. Um, I actually kind of, as a visual, I break it down into like three sectors. There's like three levels of friends. First of all, you need to identify who do you want to be and what do you want to accomplish? And those are the people you want to surround yourself with, of course. But you know, of course, you're growing up with friends, you have people that love you, like from back home, and they may not be doing the things you want to do, right? Like, right. I'm sure a lot of people you grew up with aren't doing what you want to do. So, you know, how much attention do you give them? What do you do? Like, so for me, I like to, you know, stay in touch, wish them a happy birthday, you know, spend some time, but not a lot of my energy, because you feed off of people's energy. So that's kind of like, you know, your friends from back home and like growing up with. And then you have your friends that you spend a lot of time with, people who are in your daily life every day, mm -hmm. Um, who you spend a lot of your time with or doing what you want to be doing or kind of at your level. And then you have people who are kind of ahead of you in life, doing the thing, like accomplishing way more than you. They're spiritually, you know, more advanced than you. They have you know, maybe more of an abundance of money than you. And those are people that you want to actually try to be friends with more. You go out of your way to reach out and say what's going on or, you know, you travel to them and you try to bring those into your inner circle. And as you build up kind of a, a stronger group of friends, like you bring yourself up as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Love, that. Love that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What would you say have been uh, the most critical lessons that you've learned in both sort of choosing a team, um, but also in terms of building a business? Yeah, actually we've grown uh, this year from like three employees to 15 employees in the last six months. And like one thing I always talk about is how it's really important to hire people not based on their skills, but based on their mindset and like who they are as a person. The character. Right. Their yeah. character and their energy. So we hire and like bring people on our team who are good people because they go just learn the skills. 
but you can't really teach people to be the you know good people that you want to be mm -hmm. around. You can't really teach someone to be happy. They kind of come in that way, like they're kind of energetically true. there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like if I meet someone and they want to come work for our team, and they're positive and they have a you know, for example, one person who came on our team about three four months ago, he was driving from Oregon all the way to Florida, long drive. He got the flu on his drive, a six day long oh, drive. No. Most people would be all bummed about it and upset and come in like at a low level. But he spun it around and made it into a positive because he was driving with his parents. He was like, oh, I get to spend three more days with my parents. You know, we stayed at bed and breakfast, it was nice. And I was like, man, he's gonna be He's, he's it, my team. I just love that. And you're absolutely right. I think a lot of companies overlook that, you know, really the top three character traits which you just described your personality traits to vet for when you're hiring is conscientiousness optimism and emotional intelligence. Abs emotional intelligence, I think, is an extremely important key that you just said there. Um, so many people don't even realize, how, like, I think emotional intelligence is more important than actual intelligence. It is, actually, so, so scientifically, that's actually true. <laughs> that for the most part, EQ leads to success in ways that IQ doesn't. Right, yeah. yeah. It, well, it's, it's important to keep yourself in the right mindset, because, like, you may have, like, an important phone call or a meeting that you didn't expect, and if you're not like an emotionally intelligent person, you're not going to be consistently happy. Mm -hmm. So you, the, you know, when you go into these encounters, if you're not like, the best version of yourself, you're not going to capitalize on those encounters. It's so that. true. And everything happens through people, right? So if you can't work with people well, even with the best technology, it's going to fail. Yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't do like, anything on your own. You need, you need people. So That's why I've invested highly in social capital. <laughs> 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 so what, what's next for you, Jared? Um, well. I had a big win last year with the second fastest growing Shopify store. Huge win! Um, it, that led to a lot of other stuff, Amazing. you know, of course, like a lot of DMs came my way, you know, articles <laughs> and stuff. The so DM. <laughs> from there, people were asking me, like, how do you do this, how do you do that? So I built a course, um, and we have about 2,500 students now. Um, we're building technology and applications for them to use on their e-commerce stores. So we are, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to, you know, long story short, we're trying to make drop shipping the business model easier for people and like connecting businesses with stores. I'm working on that and then I also own an agency. So we're working with celebrities and influencers who want to build, you know, top down businesses. They have followers, they want to monetize it. Um, we're just kind of building those two uh, pillars of our business. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, you're a total inspiration and love that you have a practice, also a spiritual practice. So wonderful and a pleasure to meet you. Where can people find you? Um, they can go to my website, jaredgetz.com. Uh, there's a bunch more information on there. If they're interested in the course, there's a place you can apply. Uh, and if they want to get in contact uh, on Instagram, at jaredgetswhatheywants. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> yeah. 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 If you didn't get that, it's at jaredgetswhatheywants. Yeah. Slide that. into those DMs and stay tuned. We'll be back with more on Good Morning Wildland. Mm -hmm.